Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today Lady D is gonna show you guys how she does her brows. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so below and give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you wanna see any more talk throughs because I feel like I'm a little too crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys. So I know you guys are gonna think I'm a little crazy, but I don't really use a spoolie for my eyebrows. I just don't like the way they feel against my skin. I know it's something weird, but I mean, it's, it's just the way I am, so. What I do use to kind of comb through my eyebrows is a toothbrush. I mean, it's not, obviously I don't use it to brush my teeth, but I kind of just use it. I just like the way it feels more than the spoolie. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I know some of you guys may think I'm a little crazy, but it just, that's what works for me. So I kind of just, brush through them like this the little bit of eyebrows that i do have so what i do is i first outline the eyebrow to the shape that i want to give them um i do this first by outlining them with this pencil uh with this brow pencil i believe this is by nyx this is what it looks like it's kind of similar to the anastasia brow wisp but um i heard that is amazing so i cannot wait to try that but um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to start and I'm just going to outline my brows to the shape that I want to give them. I'm going to try my best to make sure that I'm getting this on film because I suck at that. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just doing it in little strokes. I don't like draw it completely because then it starts looking a little too dark for me. I mean... But that's only because my eyebrows are so light. So if your eyebrows are really dark, then I guess you would be able to go, get away with doing it in one, um, one motion. But I have to do it in strokes. So there goes the bottom. I always do both bottoms first before I do this, the top. That's just the way I do it. I mean, you can do it the way you want to. So here we go. When I go to the front section, I definitely do it with the least pressure. So, and then I start adding a little bit more pressure as I go towards the ends. So I'm basically just following the natural curve of my brow. And um, yeah, so there goes the bottom. It looks, I know I look mad crazy, but you imagine if I walk around like this. <laughs> so yeah, so now we're gonna do the top. And like I, when I do the top portion, I kind of start around not towards all the way to the front kind of towards a little bit back and then with light pressure I draw the top portion and I also turn it on its side I don't have it directly pointing like you can see it's literally on its side because I don't want it to be so dark and then you meet it with the Bottom. Now when I go to the front, once again I do it with a light pressure. I don't want to, I, I don't want them to look like tattoo eyebrows. I mean if that's the way you like them then go ahead. But for me, it just looks so harsh on me because my eyebrows are so um, light. Okay, then I got kind of the shape that I want. Now I'm going to do it to the other side. If I feel like I went a little too high, I literally just wipe it off with me. Okay, if you're happy with the way you draw them on, remember this is not the final look, obviously. I just see something here I just want to fix real quick. This is not the final product, so it's not going to look like this, but um, this is kind of the basic. Oh, let me just do the front here. Okay. So now that you got the shape, now what I'm going to do is now with a little bit of pressure, so I start darkening in, basically coloring in my brows. So I do it darker towards the end, and when I get to the front, I barely touch my brows. So once again, I do it in strokes. And this pencil has like a waxy consistency. It's not really like, like a pencil pencil. So it's not going to fill in completely all your brows. And you definitely don't want it to, like if you want to go for the natural brow, you definitely don't want it to be completely dark. 
Okay, so as I get to the front, like I said, I kind of lightening the pressure. I don't want to go too dark. Okay, so damn, that brown looks crazy. So yeah, you, you basically got the the shape that we want to have for the brow. So this is how it's gonna look before you we go on to the next step. So we're gonna do it to the next to the other brow. Once again, I'm doing it really, really not so much pressure, but more pressure than I would at the front. So that it's a little darker. And then we're gonna keep moving that in strokes. And then once again, when you get to the front, then you want very, very light pressure. Like you barely want to touch your brows. Yeah, that looked crazy. So, I was gonna use a spoolie. So then I kind of take the toothbrush and massage or I guess go back and forth until it's kind, kind of blended in and it's not looking so sparse. And then it just blends everything in. Okay, now for the fun part. This is my favorite part. So now I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder Duo. Mine is an ebony. I've had this for so long. I mean, look how look at look at how that's worn out already. I think it's time for a new one. So I take the darker. There's always like a darker area and then like a grayish area. So I always take the dark area and um, I always dip it in. Oh, so actually, let me just show you the brush that I'm going to use. This one is, I don't even know what, honestly, what this is from. It's just a brow and eyeliner brush. I mean, have no idea where I got this from. Probably took it from my sister. I don't know. Sorry, I got the... <laughs> so this is the brush. Any, any angled brush like this would work fine. I mean, this is just the brush that I've always used because it's kind of soft. And I kind of like that it's soft. I mean, but I also have a more denser one, which... On days that I'm kind of in a rush, I'll use a dental one because it'll take more product. But this is, you know, like just a regular liner brush, um, angled brush would work. So like I said, I'll take the darker portion of it and then I'll start outlining, out, outlining again my brows. And then as I go, I'm going to start filling in the filling these sparse areas in. So I basically go over the entire brow again one more time. It's just that I feel like when I put the wax um, brow on first the the wax pencil first it kind of keeps the uh, the powder from moving all day so once again you're just going over exactly what you did Now as you get towards the front, you're going to get the lighter section and you're just going to not so hard, um, you don't want to, you don't want to press so hard anymore. What's wrong with me? I can't talk today. And you're just going to, once again with small strokes and very light pressure, you're going to go towards the front and blend all of that in with the brow pencil that we used before. So it's kind of like an ombre effect. So I go dark here, and then as I'm in the middle, I kind of start um, lifting the pressure a little bit, and then when I get towards the front, that's when I literally barely touch my brows. So once again, I go dark on the ends, Then I start kind of lifting the brush a little bit more towards the middle to kind of blend the lightness with the dark. And then when I get towards the front, I barely touch my brows. But you want to be very careful because the ed let the edge of the brush kind of let the edge of the brush kind of be your guide when you're putting um, the brow powder on. 
I also use the the brush kind of on a slant, not really on a. I don't like using it straight straight on. Okay, so there's your first brow. Still not done, but it's getting there. And then once again, we do the darker section on the outside and with more pressure. And then you, when you get towards the middle, you want to take off some of that pressure and um, with slow, <laughs> slokes, with strokes, you're going to blend all of that in towards the middle. Okay, and then when you get towards the front, you want to grab the gray, the grayish <laughs> section, and you're going to go towards the front. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Anyway, so now we're going towards the front and a very light pressure. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? <laughs> so there you go. So you got the, the basic shape of how your eyebrows are going to be now this is my favorite part now i take the mac concealer and this color i don't even know what color this is i've had this for so long as well and i just take a brush this one is from the bh studio pro there we go uh, oh my god my nose look crazy don't mind my nails and this brush is just a very tiny like concealer i think it's really it's just my sisters they just they just I miss my sisters in LA and the other one and I because I got married I barely get to see them now and I'm just like I miss them we're going to conceal not conceal the eyebrow. what am I talking about we're going to outline the brow with the concealer this is going to make them stand out a little more and actually highlight them but before we do the outline, I'm going to take my handy dandy toothbrush. <laughs> this is hilarious. And uh, my, hu my husband's always laughing at me because I use this. But anyway, so I'm going to blend the front so it's very much more softer than it was before. As you can see, as you can see the difference, this one's a little bit more darker. This one's a little bit less darker. It's a little bit lighter. And then I just blend all of that. I don't touch the back anymore I kind of just do it towards the middle and if you feel like you see like I blended it a little bit too much I go back in to my brow duo and I'll just darken it in a little bit more always do it in strokes because you never want it to be so harsh and then just keep blending the front I'm starving. I'm hungry. And then let me just blend this a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. So now we're going to take the concealer. Now, when you do take some, I'm going to show you how much concealer I take. I feel like I will do, but this is how much concealer I take. I do it on both sides because I hate going back and forth, back and forth when I'm doing my brows. I feel like I concentrate better when it's like everything is on the brow that I'm going to need, even though I'm probably going to use more. But how I do it is, what's going on here? Come on, cooperate. What I do is that I kind of start a little bit under the actual brow so that when I go to, so it's not so like stark white or cream or yellow, whatever color this is because then it's going to be a little bit hard to blend you definitely want to blend the concealer every time you put the you do this because you don't want that to be you don't want people to know that there's concealer there like those harsh lines you never want that so i'm going to go a little bit below 
just to kind of get rid of a little bit of the product and then I start going upwards till I meet my brow and then I start going against to clean that up a bit. Told you, I was gonna go in for more. I woke up like this. No, I didn't. Yes, yes. <laughs> so now you want to take the brush, whatever's left over, and you're going to just brush that downwards until it meets the eyeshadow. I mean, you always want to do this in strokes because you don't want to mess up what you already did. Spend like five hours doing this eye. All right, not five hours, but you get the drift. So you're going to blend that out. Now you can see the difference. This one's a little bit, obviously, looks more perfect, more put together. Did I say perfect? more put together and then then this one this one looks i mean the shape is there but it's not clean it's not perfect it's not the lady d brow <laughs> so we're gonna go to the top portion of the brown now i always do this first i don't know sometimes i go back and forth but today i just want to do one full brow so i can show you guys the difference so when i do this top for some reason i kind of tilt it on its like side and then I use the, the the side part of it so I don't get that much concealer on my skin okay then I put it on its like flat side just because it gives me more control over the brush and you're basically cleaning off the part of the brow that you don't want. So if you want it to be a little thinner, so you're gonna kind of basically erasing, let's put it that way. You're basically erasing the parts of the brow that you don't want. And as I add concealer, I kind of blend it up as well so it's easier to blend it. Then when you get towards the end, uh, this is just my preference. I kind of like my brows to finish in a point. Some people like it to be round. I don't think they look nice on me when they're round, so. Then I just take my pinky and I just kind of blend the concealer into my foundation. Okay. Let me give you guys a close up on how they both look. So this is the eyebrow that we just did. It's very clean, very um, precise, very like put together. And you can always go back and forth if you see, like for example, right now I feel like this is a little light for me. So I'm going to darken this and then go over again with concealer and fix that part there. I love this little brush. I mean, it's like such a perfect size for this job. Then I wipe the concealer off, whatever's left, and I just continue. I'm just going to blend. So you see that? Um, this brow. Okay. And then look at this one. It looks very messy. I mean, from far, I guess you can't really see it, like from afar, but because I'm such a perfectionist, I need to do this in my bra at all times. So this is the one that we just finished. And this is the one that we are going to do now. Like I said, I would take a little bit of concealer. I literally just go on the edge. Like I said, I start a little below. I also do this in strokes, by the way. 
for like a half steady hands, but they're not that steady. Wipe off the brush and then blend. Now I notice that it's a little bit too light for me, so I'm gonna just darken the brow. Tell you, I'm a perfectionist. I, I can't. Do not bother. Okay, so now we're gonna do the top. Okay, then you just wanna look ahead and make sure that your eyebrows are um, even. They look pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna take my toothbrush and I'm just gonna make sure that everything at the, the front of the brow is blended. Now I'm going to take the same um, angled brush that I used before and I'm just going to wipe most of the product off and I'm just going to use a very tiny bit what I, or whatever's left on the brush to draw some kind of like lines for the brows just at the top and at the bottom. This is a step that makes my brows look more of an ombre. So very lightly we're gonna draw two lines one at the top one at the bottom nothing in the middle and then we're going to blend a little bit more just so it's not so harsh and blend. this is the final product thank you so much for watching i hope you guys learn how to do the ombre ish natural eyebrow or as i like to call it the lady d brows um if you guys try this technique i want to see it so you can tag me on instagram twitter facebook or even comment on youtube let me know that you tried it i want to see it um i will link everything down below once again thank you for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video